The Washington Post reports on the tunnel collapse at the Hanford nuclear waste site in Washington state. Workers at the nation's most contaminated nuclear facility are closely monitoring the air quality. The tunnel that collapsed stores rail, rail cars filled with decades-old radioactive waste. Plutonium for nuclear weapons was made at the massive site in eastern Washington for more than four decades. John Blackstone is outside the site, which is nearly half the size of Rhode Island. John, good morning. Good morning. Well, the motto on the sign here at Hanford, where safety comes first, will be put to the test today as crews attempt to determine what caused the ground above this tunnel to collapse. Now, there's been no radioactive release detected, but experts say that this shows the deteriorating conditions at this troubled nuclear facility. Respond, Purex tunnel for a possible collapse of the tunnel. Nearly 5,000 workers took cover Tuesday morning after a 20 by 20 foot area of soil collapsed over a tunnel used to store contaminated radioactive materials at Hanford. James Lopez's girlfriend works at the site. It's pretty scary. They put her in a room and they cut off all the ventilation so that the outside air couldn't get in. The breach happened near the center of the 500 square mile nuclear complex. Old rail cars used to transport plutonium and uranium are now stored in wood and concrete tunnels covered by about eight feet of soil. Dirt collapsed into the tunnel. Nobody's involved. There's no people involved. Hanford emergency operations official Destry Henderson updated the public on Facebook. No signs of a radiological release. Additionally, no employees have been injured. Hanford is home to 56 million gallons of radioactive waste. All of the waste from the Manhattan Project, which tested and built the atomic bomb during World War II, is buried there. The facility has been closed for nearly 30 years, but 9,000 people now work at the site on a massive cleanup effort. Some of this nuclear waste is so hot that if you were to walk by it, you would get conceivably a lethal dose of radiation. CBS News science contributor Michio Kaku says it could take another 40 years and $110 billion before the site may be considered safe. The Hanford Reservation is a series of disasters waiting to happen. A major earthquake, a major fire at the site with all these toxic, much of them flammable liquids, could cause a disaster beyond our imagination. Fixing the damaged tunnel could be challenging. Energy Department officials say they're looking for a way to create a barrier between the contaminated material and the outside air. But in doing that work, they'll have to work carefully to make sure they don't make this hole any larger. All right. Thank you, John.